there are some design fundamentals that should be considered when planning the family kitchen. The shape of the new kitchen will usually dictate the design and you should always try to put the working triangles at the center of any floor plan you put together. The sink, fridge, and cooker need to be within walking distance of each other so meal can be prepared efficiently. This requires you to flatten the triangle, ensuring each one is only a few steps away from the other, so you won't have to move too far across the kitchen. Also, remember that the kitchen triangle isn't an absolute necessity for a new kitchen. Ultimately, you decide the best floor plan that works for you. So, if you have enough floor space and you don't mind taking a few extra steps between units when preparing meal, then it's always down to you a lot of people usually ask how can i design my own kitchen first of all create a design list when kitchen planning look at what you currently have in the space and what you like to add look at your cabinet and see if they need any upgrade would you like to install a kitchen island do you need to create more space or are you looking for a different thing with new features also consider how much kitchen storage will be needed and always try to overcompensate because over time you will likely end up needing more space than you originally thought secondly think about the kitchen layout usage kitchens are used differently in every home which means your kitchen planning should take this into consideration so if it fits in with your lifestyle open or closed space first think about the working area of the kitchen, taking appliances into account, and also how it connects with the dining room or dining area. The working triangle is the imaginary link between the fridge, the sink, and the cooker, which makes it easier to prepare meals without having to move too far. Whatever look you are going for, this should ideally be at the heart of your kitchen design. We'll discuss this in more depth later in this video what kind of layout will work best to meet the needs of those living in the home these are the things you should consider are there alternatives to the working triangles if the working triangle is a little too rigid for your kitchen design there are other kitchen ideas you can use instead one of those is bloom's dynamic space which is based on certain work zone in the kitchen using a clockwise or anti-clockwise design. For example, when it comes to making breakfast, you can arrange the floor plan so all the breakfast items are kept nearby or next to the dishwasher. You can place cookery in the cabinet nearby. The reason for this type of plan is to ensure everything is close to hand. So performing tasks in the kitchen is efficient which will be needed in larger kitchens other kitchen design layouts like galley kitchen the floor plan takes its name from the ship kitchen which are usually quite narrow it has a single roll of unit to position the kitchen appliances and encourage you to make the most of wall space there is also the double galley featuring two row parallel to each other we also have the u-shaped kitchen for kitchens that have a u-shape can be situated on three different walls it's a practical design as you can have the cooker in the middle and the fridge and sink on each side making everything easy to access then we have the l-shaped kitchen this features cabinets organized in an l shape in the kitchen which will usually tend to be quite small in some respect it will feel a little like an open plan design and require a bit more thought to make the most out of the storage available island kitchens are one of the most popular designs in recent years with a separate island standing away from the surrounding worktop this type of floor plan creates more space to prepare food and reduce the need to move around the kitchen too much whilst cooking make sure to draw a detailed floor plan using an accurate scale when kitchen planning start on paper so you can visualize how it will look be sure to include windows and doors as this will affect where appliances and other items can be positioned if your kitchen project is to be 
open plan it's also helpful to split the plan into zones when it comes to finding the right location for appliances in the kitchen make sure to cut out to scale representations of every item this will make it easier to play around and try different configurations in the space without having to constantly erase and redraw the plan this can also help when it comes to your budget giving you a clearer indication of how much can be spent on any new appliances before you commit anything make sure to seek inspiration there are plenty of kitchen designers online you can draw inspiration from just like interiors tv consider if you want the kitchen design to complement what you currently have or to contrast it what style of kitchen cabinets do you want this is important as they are often the dominant design feature in any kitchen space choose the materials such as hardwood or plywood they are both good for traditional rustic design for a more modern appearance engineered wood sometimes like fiber boards hdf offers a smoother and more minimal surface and it's available in varieties of colors natural wood is more expensive and requires additional maintenance although engineered woods are cheaper and easier to maintain choose the cabinet color scheme as i mentioned earlier the cabinet unit will dominate the kitchen space so you need to ensure you find the right balance in terms of color neutral colors such as white cream beige are always a popular choice as is off white and gray gray is also a popular color these colors work well with offset against bolder colors on the kitchen walls and if you sell the property at a later date it is a more attractive choice to buyers who can think about how they can implement their own scheme so choosing colors like white or gray is always a good select tool. the right kitchen worktop kitchen worktops need to tick a lot of the right boxes including the look practicality and the cost laminate and man-made composites are the most cost effective and comes in a wide choice of color you find solid wood and natural stone at the other end of the price scale but they do look stunning when installed kitchen work tops are just as important as the cabinet you choose so make sure you are completely happy with your choice every new kitchen will need new flooring and tiles to be installed ideally you want to keep kitchen walls in the most of the space clear from any sort of design cluster you want to install tiles in and around work areas to prevent water